how to calculate a linear regression using a calculator, a calculator Casio FX991MS. The example I'm going to show you is how to calculate a correlation coefficient, R, and the linear regression for the following data. The data is listed here, X and the Y value, using the calculator Casio FX991MS. Okay. First thing you need to do you turn on your calculator is to change it into regression mode. So first you're going to need to select your mode key which is right here. It says mode and then clear the slider. Select mode twice. You're going to see R regression right here which is the number two. So you're going to select two. And then there's different options for different kind of regressions. To actually calculate a linear regression you're going to select one for linear. There might be data that you've entered previously or data in your calculator. You want to make sure that's been cleared and then you're entering a fresh set of data. So this is our fresh set of data. First thing you're going to do to clear that data is to hit shift and then same button as mode beside it is clear and then you're going to select one to clear the data and enter. So all data has been cleared previously. Okay, now that we have that done, clear your screen, we're going to enter in all our data points. So we have five data points. We're going to enter that in. First set of data, the x and the y value that go together is 10 and 1003. So what we're going to do is you're going to enter in 10, 1, 0. And then you're going to enter a comma in between to, to separate the x and the y. And then 1, 0, 0, 3. Okay, so to enter this data, you need to select the DT key, which is right, up, right at the M plus key. You see under below it says DT. Select M, the M plus. And there you go. You've entered the first set of data, so it'll count them for you to make sh tell you how many data is points you've entered. So the next one, 15, comma, 1005, and then again, DT, so the M plus, and then next data, so I'm just going down the list here, is 20, comma, 1010, zero, zero, M plus, and then 25, so it's counting them up to 3, 1011, one, one, and plus, so I'm at 4 data points, and my last one 30, comma, right there, 1014, one, and then plus. Okay, so I've entered in all my data. Now I'm going to actually want to get the equation and my correlation coefficient. So it's important to note that the equation is actually that they're going to give you is y equals a plus bx. So the b value is your slope and the a would be your y intercept. So what you're going to do, you're going to go shift, it's right there. S variable key which is on top of number two so you're going to select that and you're going to see this screen come up so now you're going to want to scroll you're going to scroll with this button here so right one two there you see you have a b and r which is all three values that we need so you're going to select one to get a and hit equals See, once you hit equals, it will give you a value. So it's just given me my a value is 997.4. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to get b. So shift s variable, which is the 2, and then scroll until you get there. 
and you're going to select 2 for B, hit equals, and you have B point. So that's your slope, 0.56. Okay. I also want my correlation coefficient, which is R. So again, shift 2, scroll, and hit 3. equals and there you have your r value so i'm just going to write down some of the decimals so there's your answer so your equation would be y equals 997.4 my y-intercept plus 0.56 x 0.56 being my slope and our value you have right there, your correlation coefficient. Okay. Let's say